it's going to be fabulous. It's visionary. It's going to create not just a state-of-the-art arena, but a mixed-use entertainment district. Uh, and it's going to do it at private expense on a piece of land that's currently unusable and would take something approaching $100 million to clean up. And as I heard the former mayor say, the city doesn't have that money. So the fact that Alex Morello and his family are prepared to do that, I think this is just a wonderful win-win for everybody. Jerry, I know how much you love to speculate. Um, I, you know I don't. <laughs> yes, yes, we've heard yeah, uh, all the rhetoric. And, and I'm not going to do it. You're, you're pointing out the to the protesters what, outside. What are there, 20 of them? Yeah. What, uh, <laughs> what is your confidence in this I, being executed? I, I'm hopeful uh, because if you look at the substance of this proposal, of the district, of the arena, of the deal with the city, this is an absolute win-win. This will be the best from a city municipal standpoint, the best stadium or arena deal that's been done in the state of Arizona in terms of the private commitment to fund this. We just heard from former Tempe Mayor Hugh Holman. What, are you, yeah. what is your level of concern with the lawsuits that exist right now? Um, I, I have great respect for the former mayor and his, not just his knowledge because he was involved in so much of what led us to this point, but his legal expertise uh, from everything I'm hearing the the met the lawsuits are without merit but actually have nothing to do with the referendum mm -hmm. last thing and i've probably asked you this 15 20 times over the years i'm sure with all of the struggles over the past two decades with his franchise why have you this been committed this is a place we want to be we think arizona is a great place for professional sports in general it's been a great place for hockey we have wonderful fans here this is a growing vibrant community uh, and when you see, since the Coyotes have been here, the increase in grassroots programs, when you look at the fact that one of our great stars happens to play in Toronto, but the fact is he says if it wasn't for the Coyotes, he wouldn't have been playing hockey.